three, two, one. Houston, you are clear for lift off. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Etanius here. Welcome to episode number 11 of this NHL 20 custom league franchise mode with the Houston Cosmonauts. Just before this episode starts, if you guys are new to the channel and enjoying my videos, please make sure you go down below, subscribe if you're not already, turn on notifications so you never miss a video, and feel free to leave a like if you enjoy. So guys, in today's episode, we start the 2022-23 season. If you guys missed last episode, go up into the top corner right now and check it out. Uh, there will be a card there because it will send you to the rest of the playlist if you have actually missed anything. So um, this is the current team we're working with. I really like how the system fits. Uh, the only thing I was kind of questioning here was um, the situation here on defense because we definitely have the option to... Um, call what's his name Carson Lambos up to the NHL as he is I believe he's 79 rated already yeah he's 79 rated so he's definitely able to play in the NHL at this point I believe he's a balanced and pinch defender I might be wrong but we definitely want him to uh, play here in Houston so let's see what happens here with that and if he's going to be ready to play or not, really. So, I don't know where... Where has Lambos gone? I don't know if he's in the team. He might just go straight back to junior, and then we can't really do anything with him. So, um, I believe he's signed. So, this might not be good. Yeah, he's, he's back in the CHL. The only... I don't know if we can call him up at this point. Uh, we can try and see if it works, but I don't know if we can actually grab him at this point. So let's go to roster moves. I don't know. He should be in the NHL. And if he's not, that doesn't make sense. <sighs> yeah. So we can't grab Lambos. He's going to play his final year in junior here. And then he will be... Hopefully he'll put up some really good numbers and be like a top four defenseman after that. But yeah, unfortunately Lambos is going to just grow in the... CHL for one more season. So I believe I got all my scouting done already. I might be wrong on that, but I think I did. Yeah, we got uh, got a lot of uh, a lot of question marks in this draft as usual, and um, well, we'll see how it turns out. But I think right now we're just going to start simulating. Um, I get the feeling we aren't we aren't really going to be pushing for any of these draft picks here you never know what's going to happen but it's it's highly unlikely that we actually go for anybody here anyways um we're going to see what kind of season the boys can put up we're going to do 41 games 41 games do the half season split like we have in the past and uh see how this season turns out <sighs> so guys halfway through the season we are really not where we want to be it's not good um Somebody deal with the fucking oven, please. Christ. <sighs> so, yeah, an 18, 19, and 4 record is pretty dog shit at this point. Um, Mikel Savan is doing amazing, but everybody else is not. Um, and that's proven to be true on the standings here, so... This is not good at this point. Um, we need to win a lot more games, and we are probably not even going to make the playoffs at this pace. So, yeah, looking at the Western Conference, 48 points is a playoff spot right now. We only have 40. We need to win, like, 10 games in a row here to get back into the fucking playoff race, which is sad. It's sad how bad this team has been up to this point. And it's funny because when they're completely healthy, they lose games consistently. But when they're injured as fuck and I've got two defensemen playing forward, they win. And it doesn't make sense to me. So um, I'm honestly thinking we might trade Petr Mrazek here just because he's been god-awful so far. Um, yeah, like he's only won one game in out of nine. That's terrible. 
we're going to try to find a trade for him because I cannot have this backup goaltending being this bad anymore. It costs us. So, see, Lambos is up to an 80, so he's doing pretty good so far. He will definitely be in our team next year. Um, there's no question about that. But um, what can we trade here? We could go with Climby to make a move. Oh, I don't really want to go with Schroeder because he's better. Um, see, Othman and Pedersen are both probably going to be... Yeah, like, Othman's doing all right. He's averaging over a point a game, I believe. Maybe not. Yeah, he is averaging over a point a game. Anyways, um, let's find this trade here already for Peter Mrazek because he has been god-awful up to this point. Lots of teams, not lots of teams, just the Detroit Dragons want to make a deal, but do they have many goalies of their own? Because that is something I would like to look into for backup goaltending. That's what we need. Oh, right, they got Hardikainen, I forgot about that. And they have Tarnquist, and they have Puistola, who they drafted. Okay, they're actually not doing all that bad, but um, he was, what, fourth overall? Yeah, okay, and then they won the lottery with Hardikainen, who's pretty solid. Anyways, um... No, I want to look at your goalies. What do you have? Jeez. Yikes, man. Okay, um, so maybe not the Detroit Dragons. I would prefer... Anybody else want Mrazek? Okay, the Vikings want him. Um, we can't afford Samsonov, so that's not happening. What about these guys? Um, again, no backup goaltending. So we actually have one of the best backups in the league, supposedly, in Mrazek. But we really don't. Um, yeesh, this is brutal. I mean, we could throw Huso, Huso or um, Forsberg in. That's possible. And then sign Lundqvist as a backup. But how many picks were we getting for Mrazek? Because that's what I was trying to figure out. So if we get a lot of picks, if we can somehow toss a third pick into this Mrazic deal, I would love that. And let's go find with an open trade block and see if there's more deals. So there's three. Okay. Uh, I don't really want that Hoyles guy. Okay, so Detroit's got two offers here. One is very much better than the other, I would say. Um, Because we're, what, 2022 slash 23? So those are two picks for next year. Um... Not exactly what I want. They actually have a better record than us. So there's Val Valenti. Um, Yannick Valenti I don't really want. Or Valenti. I don't, I don't care how you say it. I would prefer like a fourth round pick this year as well. If you could toss that in there, I would love that. And reject it. It's a bit low for us. Okay, what about a fifth rounder this year? Just some kind of extra picks here to get something done and yeah okay so we will trade away um yeah we had to trade him away so let's see we should have the right amount of goalies in the system we don't right now okay let's go like that go back go to edit lines and they signed a goalie for us which is not great because i wanted to toss in one of our rookie goalies instead who's like 60 rated um but yeah hopefully Anton Forsberg will be better because Peter Mrazek was actually like god awful up to this point he was losing games all the time see at least Forsberg wins over half of his games that is pretty important um so we'll see how Ville Husso does in the minors as the starting goalie um this Plakanov guy is not gonna get minutes I'm sorry he just isn't, and we are going to go out and sign that uh, elite goalie we've got in the depths of our team. So we're going to go, okay, i got to go to positions, goaltending um, in the system, and Lennox isn't going to get a deal this year because he's still crushing it where he's playing, but this Lundberg kid is a player that I definitely want to get into the team, Johan Lundberg, okay. So let's just double check and make sure that he actually gets playtime, because he is the better goalie, but uh, we'll see what happens there. That's always kind of hard to predict. How's Kapanen doing? 72 rated, okay. 
Sonnenberg might actually make the NHL by next year, so that's good to see. And Andersons is actually doing pretty solid too. Might make the Chell in a year or two. Um, but yeah, Lundberg at 60 rated is definitely the better goalie. And especially that since he's only 19, like he's he's kind of one of our future goalies. I mean, obviously we've got Jamie Larmore who's just insane. But uh, yeah, let's see how the next 41 go. I'm really hoping that uh, Anton Forsberg can put up better numbers than um, than, than Mrazek did. All right, guys, so we are officially at the last game of the season now, going up against San Diego, and, well, we definitely improved. We won the majority of these games in here, and they were all important, obviously, especially after the trade deadline. But, uh, yeah, no, the team was kind of brutal heading into the trade deadline, just was losing a lot of close games, things like that. And then they started actually putting wins together right around here, the Philadelphia game. That, that really kind of started... Um, a much better trend of games here. We only lost, what, two in this time? Maybe one? One out of the last, like, ten games, two out of the last ten. Like, it was a really good run here, and it has actually solidified our playoff berth here. So all five teams in the Pacific were better than what we have. So that's interesting. But uh, the Icemen kind of tank it again. But obviously Vancouver and Mississauga are really struggling. Like, I'm, I'm kind of surprised how bad they are, but they're going to have good picks in this draft. Um, anyways, we got 94 points. We can secure um, we can secure first place in our division with a win here. And, you know, we might actually play this game because I want to see uh, some gameplay here. So we're down 3-2, and you know what? We're going to hop in and play. So this is on All-Star, and we'll see what we can do. Obviously, San Diego is a very good team, um, but yeah, okay, that was a great start on the face-off, eh? G Jesus, is that real? Come on, you're going to do me like that? That's fucking bullshit, man. I'm sorry, but that's fucking bullshit. Jesus. Okay, so I'm, I'm assuming we're going to go back down the other way and score the exact same fucking goal here. Never mind, McKinnon thinks he's a defensive beast, and he's not. Jesus fucking Christ, man, are you kidding me? Get the fuck out of here, McKinnon. God. The good player on the team's actually Smirnoff, not McKinnon, so... Yeah. Thank you... Just cut my way in here nice and slowly. Davidson gonna tee one up and miss the fucking net. Are you kidding me? Bro, I can't even hit guys. It's kind of stupid. Stop with the constant poke checking. Then I poke check once. Once and take a penalty. Like, fuck off, man. Come on. Right, yes, because Mulligan's such a better center than Paling. Like, fuck off, man. Look at, he should be taking the tripping call already right here. Bro, give Mulligan a fucking hooking penalty. God damn. Dude's not even a good fucking NHL player. Get dummied. Okay, that was a charge. And if you don't call that, I'm not fucking impressed. Board check's not even good. Bro, that's even a chance? Come on. This 
see, I'm not entirely impressed with the uh, difficulty here and how it's kind of treating us, so... They just constantly play their top line. Like, wow, you guys are really exciting, aren't you? Okay, McKinnon's not uh, that good defensively. I don't know how many times I'm going to say it, but he just simply isn't a defensive player. I got caught on that breakaway. Are you kidding me? Back up, Pareko. Jesus, man. Oh, come on. Drop the puck already, you lame fuck. I want a hooking penalty call on Mulligan, man. He's literally just sticks his stick right in my guy's feet. Nothing. Nothing at all. Boring. It's a boring fucking hockey game. Because all the other or all the AI does is literally just pass the puck around the outside until they can center it. That's it. And then they just hook the fuck out of me and don't take any penalties. This is gay. I should turn computer penalties up. Why? Why do you play that into the corner and not up the fucking boards, man? This is so boring. So boring. Eat shit. Oh, fuck off, man. Tyler Myers, you wanna go? Power forward, you're fighting the power forward here. Hmm. Cool. Bro, this game isn't even fun on All Star. Like, it's just, it's so ridiculous. I have to try so hard to actually get anything done on this difficulty because the other team literally just sits here and just. Oh, of course that's a penalty, even though he was standing right beside the puck. Oh, come on. If that's not in the net, nothing is. Bro, you're not knocking Heiskanen off the puck. He's simply a better player than you. Why would you skate that along with the puck? Like, what were you trying to accomplish with that? Come on, that's got to be a hook. That was a penalty. You're high as a fucking kite. Wow, I can't believe they called that a penalty. He didn't even hit the guy. He literally bumped off of him. He bounced off of him and got a penalty. Like, really? Really? What a trash call. And I got another penalty. Love this game, man. Where's the AI penalties? They don't even take them. Because there are no penalties for the AI at this point. I should literally turn them up to 100. So they literally try to do anything and take a penalty. And they still wouldn't get penalties called on them. That's how ridiculous this is, okay? Guess who's a better player than you? Donovan Leach, Miro Heiskanen, just about all the guys on the ice right now. Yet Czech, Czechovic is going to pull that shot off and just about score? Like, you're kidding me.
You know what? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Larmor, take him. Take him, Larmor. Apparently, goalie fights don't work. Yeah, don't grab the puck. Nice animations, man. Honestly. That was fucked. Had a chance there, and instead he just fucking dicks around with it. Fucking loses the chance. Man. Come on, if that's not a penalty, nothing is. And they just pull the puck out of my fucking ass. You know what? Mulligan, you're not a good player. You don't have that much stamina. You cannot keep up with Heiskanen, okay? Nobody in the league almost, except for like a couple guys, are on the same level as Heiskanen for skating. It's ridiculous. They fucking disrespect him with not even enough skating stats. They don't even give him five star skating, which is ridiculous in my opinion. Oh my god, they play pass every time. That's so entertaining, isn't it? Like, fuck that, man. I'm sorry. When Davidson's on... Okay. Camper. Camper. He's 82 fucking rated. Mc, not McDavid. Davidson is 15 ratings higher than him. 15, okay? That's absolutely ridiculous that he even makes that save. Don't put one in the net now. Oh my god, what on earth was that pass? Savan's in. And he never scores. I love not even being able to create offensive chances, man. It's the most boring thing in the game. Look at these douchebags. They're playing four guys back, and they're still all terrible. Like, come on. San Diego's in the playoffs already. I don't know why they're freaking out about this. You don't want to go with Kirby Doc. You do not. I don't know why you'd even think about that, Bowen. <laughs> Come on. You gotta be kidding me. Dotchin would never beat Kirby Doc in a fight, man. I'm sorry, but Doc is just a 6 5 beast. <laughs> Anybody else see the guy on the ice who got leveled? Byram's just sitting there, like. <laughs> just having a seizure on the ice. Well, at least we knocked one of their guys out for the remainder of the season. 
buddy. If that's not a hook. Dumbass. Stay on your feet, Mulligan. You're retard. I'm fine taking penalties. If it means I'm going to hurt the San Diego players, that's fine. That's a shot? You gotta be kidding me, man. Okay, you know what? No. Smirnoff, no. <laughs> you don't get to dig that puck out from under my fucking feet. Be like, yeah, this is a legit play without any kind of penalty taken. McKinnon, who do you think you are? I'm sorry, but you're literally looking at the best defenseman in the league here, and he should be skating circles around you. Yeah. Big time, buddy. These San Diego players are kind of dull, to be honest. They're not even that good. But they're on All-Star, so they seem really good. Okay, yep, nope. Take a seat, Smirnov. Don't stand up either. You're going to get hurt. Okay, can I actually hit McKinnon? Like, come on. Okay, that's how it works, hey? That's how it works. Fucking cool, man. I love it. <laughs> Look at how fast they're passing the puck. Jesus fucking Christ, McKinnon. Get out of here. Get the fuck out of here. He shouldn't have the puck when Mikhail Savan has it on his stick, okay? Shit. Wow, you're a real fucking good team, aren't you? Know how to pass the puck like a bunch of fucking 12-year-olds. Okay, Chekovic would not be standing if he took a Davidson slap shot point blank to the ankle. I hate to say that, but that's just the truth. Can you at least get it on net, Heiskin? Yikes. Okay. We lose that game. It doesn't matter. We're in the playoffs. But, uh, you know, it would have been nice to beat the San Diego Hammerheads because they're not that good a team past their first line. So, yikes. Okay. I mean, we still finished first in the division. That's all right with me. Um... Definitely not first in the conference or anywhere close to top of the league as the Nighthawks literally had 20 more points than us. 20? Yeah, 20 more points. Jesus. All right, well, let's take a look at the scoring numbers here to wrap this episode up. And, uh, yeah, Mikel Savan, 95 points. Davidson gets 90 points again. Absolute animal, man. 90 points as a defenseman. Jesus, <laughs> he is almost a point per game at this point. His first two seasons were pretty shaky as he got injured a lot, but the last two years, he's been healthy. His durability has been really good, 89, like that's, that's good enough to keep him healthy for the most part. And yeah, with the numbers he's putting up, he's insane. Barkov is over a point a game for what, like the ninth time in his career or something like that? No, probably like the fifth or sixth. Yeah, it looks like number five here by the looks of it. Um, anyways, good season from him again. Uh, Donovan Leach only puts up 81 points. Not really looking like a, what, 10? Okay, 10 and a half. not so bad. I was like, not really looking like a 10 and a half million dollar player. Well, no, he is. He is. But um, Kirby Doc has a good season. Gets up to an 86 overall. You'll love to see that. Puts up 67 points. Best in his career so far. That's really good. Lots of assists, but uh, you know you kind of expect him to be scoring more, maybe, but I guess not. Uh, Victor Rask scored 57 points on the second line. Heiskanen scores 55, best in his career so far, so that's really solid. And uh, yeah, good season overall from the boys. Uh, taking a look at our goalies nice and quickly. Larmour gets 36 wins, and you know eight wins for Forsberg wasn't so bad in 13 games. But for the entire league, let's see, where did 36 put Larmore? Not at the very top. Tosca is in there now. Oh, yeah, I guess the Kings are actually good now. Um, or not the Kings, uh, the Royals, sorry, the Washington Royals. Brzezgalov, 
wins 44 games. Price wins 43. He's still an elite at 35 years old. Jeez. Okay. Um, Coral Duke 132 in uh, LA. Okay, so that's goalies. As far as defense goes, not much of a question here, really. Nine point difference between the two. And uh, yeah, Davidson is definitely like the best defenseman in the league right now. Zaitsev have put up some really solid numbers. Same with Nick Matsumoto. Um, anybody else here that we created that's like crazy good? Bartley's doing okay. Um, he's looking like he's looking really nice though. Uh, Tuka Pillman, not so much though. Wait, where's Bartley playing? Oh, Austin. Okay, I was getting them mixed up there for a second. Andre Tham. Oh my gosh, he might actually crack franchise here. That's crazy. Um, besides that, Darlene's kind of struggling there in Indianapolis. Oh well. Uh, Giordano's put up 40 points still as a 39-year-old. Jeez. And Duncan Keith as a 39-year-old also put up 40 points. Shea Weber only put up 39, so I'm definitely glad we traded him. Um, all right, and then for league scoring here overall, Connor Howe puts up 115 points. McKinnon scores 114, same with McDavid. Smirnov and Marchand score 109 Penner scores 108, Mahalik scores 106, Harris, Lutz, and Matthews all score 102. Dreisaitl, Larkin both score 101 points, and I think Penner is going to be your scoring leader. No, Connor Howe gets 69 goals. My god, Savan scored 58, which is a pretty good number, but not quite on that same level. Sam Reinhardt had 81 assists, Davidson had 70, Ehlers had 70. Larkin had 72. He's crushing it. Jeez, man, there's some good players in here. Anyways, uh, that is the league, and I think that's what we're going to do to wrap it up for this episode. I think next episode we will be starting round one against... Um, ooh, that's, that's interesting. I think it's going to be... Um, I don't know. We might be playing like the Narwhals, but they'll be... Let's see how this works out, because we have less points, but we're ahead in our divisional standings. So what happens here? So we didn't get 54 wins or 30 home wins or 35 sellouts. So that's not great. Um, so we're going up against the San Francisco Vikings, but I'm almost 100% sure that they finished ahead of us. So how does that work? Western Conference. Yeah, the Vikings finished fourth. We finished sixth. But we have home ice advantage because we were the best team in the Central. That is that is weird, man. That is weird that it goes like that. So, um, Yeah, anyways, next episode, San Francisco. I don't think we've taken on the Vikings yet. Uh, this will probably... Let me just double check. Yeah, we definitely haven't taken on the Vikings yet. Um, but this will be our first meeting with them. So let's check out San Francisco. I know they got Troy Mahalik. That's their main piece here. And yeah, really, he's kind of made this team who they are, to be honest, because besides Crosby and, well, they got Nylander too. But really, that top line's just clicking for them. Mahalik's insane. Um, that's about it, though, really. They got Samsonov. Okay. Um... Yeah, no, I'd definitely say we're a better team, but, you know, that's just how things work out sometimes, is that not everything's going to be perfect. Ooh, Walker Harris is injured for San Fran, or San Jose. Buddy, why is this team so bad? I don't understand that. They have Matthew Savoy, he should grow. They have Yuri Chubisov, who's a crazy number one center. Um... They have some good defense, too. I just don't understand why that team has never grown. They're actually, like, awful. And then Mississauga is another team that is way worse than they probably should be. But, yeah, I don't know, man. That's uh, that's the league we're dealing with right now. And the, at least the Cosmonauts made it here again. It was a slightly, slightly shaky season there for a bit. But uh, we, we came through. 
So anyways, guys, that is going to wrap up this episode. Next episode, we will take on San Francisco, even though they had a better record than us. But uh, anyways, that's going to wrap it up. If you guys are new to the channel, please go down below, subscribe, uh, make sure you leave a like on the video, and uh, feel free to leave comments. I love hearing you guys' feedback, and also, um, you know, make sure you turn on notifications so you don't miss when I'm uploading. But anyways, that's going to be it for me. This is Etanios signing out, and see ya!